How's it going everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Martin with Belvoir Auto Spa. Uh, this video I'm going to be showing you guys how to change the grease in your rotary or dual action polisher. Now this would also work for other tools you may have, a grinder, drill, whatever, if you want to take those apart and change the grease out. Um, the reason for this is a lot of these machines just come with like the bulk factory grease, which it works. I'm not saying it's bad grease, uh, but you can get better grease. And you can change it out right away, and you'll notice that your tool runs a little bit smoother and quieter. Um, or if you have been using your tool a lot, um, you know, every year or so, every couple of years, whenever, um, you're going to want to replace the grease uh, because the, the gears in there, you know, running on each other over time, little bits of metal is going to wear off of that. It's going to get into the grease, so you're going to want to change the grease out. So some things you're going to need, uh, you're going to need screwdrivers, uh, flathead and Phillips head. Uh, you're going to need your grease, obviously. So I use the uh, Lucas Red and Tacky grease. Uh, this is relatively inexpensive. I'll put links to everything below. Um, in my opinion, for a DA, you're going to want to use an impact. Uh, you can use a screwdriver. I just find impact to be a little bit easier for removing certain screws. And uh, you're going to want some shop towels uh, or paper towels, microfibers, whatever, just so you can uh, wipe the grease off. So first thing, I'm going to show you how to take apart the dual action. Now, I've already replaced the grease in this. Um, the dual action is a little bit more involved than the rotary to take apart. Um, so let's go ahead and get that taken apart. Also, you're going to need uh, the, the, your, your polishers should come with an Allen key um, or you can use your own Allen key set if you got it. And that's just to take, uh, for a dual action, to take the pad off. Or the backing plate, excuse me, I don't know why I said the pad. But yeah, that's the first thing you're going to do is take the uh, backing plate off so you can expose what's underneath. Now, why I say to use a dual action for this, so, or excuse me, a, a, a impact. So you can probably see right there, I tried using a standard Phillips head and I started to strip, strip the screw. Now these screws, uh, for whatever reason, uh, like to use the Phillips or slotted, I don't, I don't know what it's called. I'm not, you know, a uh, tradesman of that, that type that understands tools that well, but um, you can see in here the different types of Phillips heads. Uh, some are pointier and some are flatter. So for example, this screwdriver is very pointy to get that to focus a little bit. This is very pointed. That strips these types of screws. So on my impact, I've got a very, it's a flatter head and it bites into it better because the pointed one uh, doesn't sit as flush. So really easy to take these out. You don't want to hold that counterweight in place and they break free really easily. Again, hold it in place so it doesn't spin around you on you like that, like it just did to me. And the counterweight's out. All right. Then uh, this shroud needs to come off. So the shroud is just these four screws in here. You can use a standard screwdriver for that. Feel free to skip ahead if any part of this gets a little bit boring or time consuming. Okay, we've got those screws out, shroud comes right off. Then you're going to have to take apart, take off the uh, this, this uh, platypus handle, as people like to call it. This is really easy. It's usually just a couple of plastic screws in here. <laughs> and yeah, the, uh, the screws hold this in place as well. I should have mentioned. So that's out. Um, but you do want to take this platypus guard off. And normally, if you've never taken it apart before, it will not fall apart that easily. Um, but mine did because I recently took it apart to replace the grease. But it comes off like that. As you can see, the grease in this 
I've already replaced it. I use a screwdriver to scrape the grease out and pack the new grease in. So I'm going to assemble this back together um, and then we'll take apart the rotary. All right, now this one's back together. Slap the battery in. Let's make sure it works. All right, it works just fine. So next we're gonna take the rotary apart. Now, again, first thing is take off the backing plate. Use your little wrench if you need to. And then you're gonna take off this back piece, just like on the other one. All right, now that piece is off. Uh, so we're gonna unscrew this just like on the other one, but we're gonna hold it right. We're gonna hold it, you know, this way so this doesn't fall off on me like last time. Okay, now take it apart. All you really need to do is just pull up, wiggle it a little bit, and you can see the uh, factory grease in there. It's it's always this white color. Um, this is what we're going to change out. Now this, this polisher has not seen heavy use, um, but I and many others can attest to the fact that changing it out for high quality uh, machine grease like Lucas will um, <clears throat> make the machine, machine run smoother and quieter. It's not a huge difference, but it is enough to be noticeable and it is going to be better on your machine parts over time. So for this part, you can clean it out however you like. I personally just like to uh, scrape it all out with a screwdriver and, and wipe it on a towel. Um, and then once I've got enough of it out, I'll go ahead and start packing the red grease in. So also keep in mind the amount of grease that's in here uh, because that's about how much you want to add back in. It doesn't have to be exact, you just don't want to over pack it, then you'll have grease you know, running out of every nook and cranny. Um, you don't want to under pack it because then you won't have that lubrication. So let's go ahead and get that part taken care of. Okay, now we've got the majority of the grease out. Um, knowing what I know about machinery and such, you don't have to get all of it out because you're going to be putting more grease in there. Um, if you want to, I know some people want to go that extra mile and completely clean this thing bone dry and pack more grease into it. If you want to do that, go right ahead. Um, but this leftover grease isn't going to hurt anything. It'll mix in with this grease. There's going to be so much of this that's going to pretty much negate uh, this stuff. So you take your tube of grease, open it up, you can see I've, I've already uh, taken some out of here. Um, but again, I just like to use a screwdriver and scoop some out of the screwdriver. And I'll just start packing it in here. And uh, you're probably going to make a mess. That's fine. So I'll show you how I do that.
right now before you put this back together you're gonna have some excess around the edges just go ahead and wipe that off otherwise it's all gonna like squeeze out the side you put it on you might still have some squeeze out the side especially if you put too much in I might have put a little bit more than I needed to in here <coughs> but uh, that's fine so simple as this you just go ahead and place this back on here And yeah, I think I put too much in here because this does not want to go down. Let's see. Definitely a pocket of air in there. Yeah, so I put too much in, <laughs> which is fine. If I can get this out, it's really just made like an airtight seal. All right. So you can see, put too much in. So if you did that, swipe off the excess. Now I'm used to the, this is a mini polisher. It's not the big one. So that's why I probably put too much in, not on purpose, but again, it's not a big deal. And there we go. Then you just line up your threads, you're going to screw this back on. And uh, again, you have some, I've got some leaking out the side because I put too much in. Well, that should be enough. And you can test it, you can, you can hold it down like this and spin the spindle a little bit to, you know, really get that oil worked in there. But uh, after you have it in, I'm just going to pull this off one more time just to show you. That's, that's about enough grease, so you really want to have it just like coating the bottom of it, like a nice layer at the bottom. Um, and as you can see, it makes good contact with this. It's making good contact with the gear down at the bottom. So that's enough grease. So I'm going to go ahead and get this reinstalled. And uh, we'll make sure everything's good to go. All right, we got the rotary reassembled. So we're going to plug it in over here. And just make sure it works. Should work, but. Would help if I plugged it in all the way. So that's all there is to it guys. It's not uh, anything super complicated. Uh, the only difference between a rotary and a dual action is with the dual action, you're gonna have to remove that counterweight in there. Um, but uh, fairly easy process. Grease is pretty inexpensive. Uh, it does get a little bit messy. You might wanna use gloves. Um, or if you're like me, I've got, I've got little wipes to clean my hands off after. But yeah, that's all it is. Now, uh, the polisher is going to be nice and run smoothly, yada yada. Now, again, this will also work for angle grinders, drills, impacts, if you want to change the grease out. Uh, these are more on the budget side of polishers, SPTA and Max Shine. They usually come with a cheaper grease. Now, if you bought something like Rupes or a Flex, um, those probably, I, I don't know for sure, but those probably have better quality grease in them. But, I mean, they do cost a lot more money as well. And they probably don't advise you take their polishers apart for warranty reasons, but that's that's just my information on that. But hopefully you appreciated this video. Uh, if, if you find it helpful, uh, give it a thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And go ahead and leave your comments down below. Uh, leave your thoughts, opinions, whatever it may be. Um, I appreciate enjoy, uh, interacting with each and every one of you. 
But that's all I got for you guys in this video. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Other than that, keep them clean. Have a good one. I'll see you in the next video.